How does it feel to be jumping the fence from your beloved demons to the scray? I must admit I was a little bit um, confused when they read out my name, but I'm just so happy to be playing. And um, for the Bulldogs, thank you for picking me, and I'll show you that it was a good pick. And it must be like home sweet home for you because you've got your very own shark scored with you, Mo Hope. Yeah, um, Craig from the Bulldogs has already spoken to us about that and he just wants us to do what we do on the weekend um, out on the G. So uh, we'll be look- I'll be looking for Mo, but we've also got some other Ripper players in the forward line as well. Now, obviously no one does hope for an injury, but should something happen, you've got another Sharks teammate in Pepper Randall standing by as emergency. Yeah, she was stoked to get picked and um, I think last year both the emergencies played, so fingers crossed kind of not really uh, that someone gets injured but um, yeah hopefully Pepper gets a game she'll be really happy with that must be nice to be on the same side as Astor O'Connor so you don't have to go head to head with her <laughs> yeah I think people are already laughing because they're getting confused by which one's which but uh, yeah it'll be good playing alongside my twin it's been a while <laughs> it's been a while indeed and also I've been told the honorary shark and Steph Chochi as well you'll be lining up with her yeah she's one of our good friends so uh, we're happy to be all playing together we're going to have lots of fun I think and except when I'm on the field they're already heckling you already so it's, a, it's, it's easy like there's going to be plenty of pranks being played down at Witten Oval. I feel sorry for Craig Sarsovich. You've probably all got something planned for him. <laughs> Not yet, but give us a couple of weeks. <laughs> and you'll certainly have something planned on him. Now, just to give those an idea at home, obviously different with the preparation at Melbourne, what's kind of done in the two or three days when you're all together leading up to a game? Yeah, it's pretty intense um, couple of days. Um, obviously, a lot of us are from all around Australia, so you're just meeting your teammates and getting to know them, and then you have to learn how they play as well and also your game structure so it's a good two days of full on learning and training and then come the game day it's just a a whole bunch of nerves so I was so lucky to do it last year and to do it again it'll be great and I believe that, um, similar to Melbourne last year, you're now virtually with your new teammates from Interstate, swapping Instagrams, Twitter accounts, the whole lot. Everyone's trying to get to know each other in the four weeks that you have. Yeah, well, I just went on my... I just checked my phone. I got 15 messages and about 20 notifications on Facebook. So hopefully they're my new uh, teammates adding me. And, um, yeah, you in those two and three days, you really get to know one another because you have to build that team relationship um, that comes from years. So you've only got two days to do that so it's yeah it's a good time and it seems to be one heck of a crazy football year. Obviously, you played in the draft game uh, prior to the start of the season. There's the Victoria game coming up on the Queen's birthday. Two of these exhibition games. And just to throw the hat in the ring on the Premier Division, you won the game against St Albans, pushed Diamond Creek close, Darabin's been knocked off. All of a sudden, this is a wide-open Premiership race. It's brilliant. It's actually really good for the competition that it's evening out and um, it just makes it more entertaining for people to come and watch and nev- not know who's going to win and um, I think um, St Kilda is, is on the way up now as well and, and hopefully we beat Diamond Creek this year and, and maybe uh, show it to Darabin and um, Melbourne Uni as well. And I came down to watch the final quarter of your game against Diamond Creek and the one amazing thing is the support of your club, not just the sponsors, but I reckon there was about at least 200 people there standing around the fence watching the game at the Peanut Farm. Yeah, that's probably the best thing about our club is it's just one giant family. So um, every home game we have a massive crowd there and all our friends and families and partners. It's just it's just a great... I love playing at home. Well, PMAC, congratulations. Get used to the red, white and blue from now on and uh, we wish you best of luck out there on the MCG in May. Great, thank you very much.